Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2017 American science fantasy western action film called The Dark Tower. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. The movie begins with a scene of many children playing happily in a field. Suddenly, some people appear and approach them. At the same time, the alarm bell sounds along with a signal from the children's bracelets. They walk towards a base nearby as if they were made to do so. Inside the base, there are some monsters wearing human skin and working. The children are tied to chairs. As the children are screaming in pain, a blast of energy shoots out from the base and into the air. It destroys a giant tower and creates a tremor. The tremor is so enormous that it causes an earthquake across the area. It turns out that what has transpired is just a dream of a boy named Jake. Strangely, in the real world, when he wakes up, the area where he lives is shaking violently. Jake Chambers, a teenage boy with psychological issues due to the death of his father, lives with his mother Lori and stepfather Lon in a small New York apartment. While Jake is watching TV, the news reports that a series of quakes are rattling in several places around the world. He believes that the events he sees in his dreams have something to do with the quakes in the real world. Jake usually draws his dreams and hangs them on the wall. The fact that he has to go to the psychiatrist makes Lon quite frustrated as he thinks the family is wasting money on the treatment. At school, while engrossed in drawing a scene from a dream, Jake gets bullied by his friends. He fights back but is stopped by the teacher. After school, he has to go to a psychiatrist. While the doctor believes that his drawings are influenced by the death of his father, Jake believes that they are real and somehow have a connection to the earthquakes. On the way home, he sees a creepy man with a blank look on the side of the road, exactly like the monsters wearing human skin in his dreams. Meanwhile, a homeless person on the street tells Jake in a panicked tone that they will take special children like him away. Frightened, Jake rushes to catch the bus home. When he returns home, Lori and Lon are arguing about him. Lori is upset that he is having trouble at school. She then offers to send Jake to a clinic in upstate New York that works with kids having a difficult time. Jake agrees without knowing where they will take him as he is tired of the two arguing. Returning to his room after seeing his mother's helplessness, Jake decides not to paint pictures about his dreams any longer. But eventually, when he falls asleep, he sees a mysterious man with a ghostly whistle approaching and brutally killing someone. Now, we are introduced to Walter, a sorcerer who aims to destroy the balance of the world siding with evil. Continuing the dream, Jake dimly sees two other men talking to each other in the woods, but their conversation is interrupted by the sound of whistling. They immediately stand up and point their guns into the misty air. One of them is hypnotized and killed by Walter. The other one has the ability to resist Walter's magic. He tries to shoot from behind, but Walter catches the bullets and throws them away. Before leaving, he states that the fall of the tower is inevitable. In the dream, Jake also has a vision of a house, which is an important clue leading to the world he is dreaming about. Jake wakes up and quickly draws a picture of the house. He posted online, asking for its address. During this time, staff from the clinic come to his house and plan to take him away. Strangely, they have the exact same features as those in Jake's dreams, revealing that they are monsters wearing human skin. He goes upstairs with his mom and tells her about the skin people, but there is no way to convince her. Meanwhile, he sees someone answering about the address of the house in his drawing. Later on, Jake makes an excuse to go to the bathroom for a while and gets away through the window. One of the skin men immediately chases him through the window, surprising Jake's parents. Jake runs to the roof and weaves his way down the street. He goes through the tunnel and escapes from the pursuit of the skin people. He finds an abandoned house which he has seen in his dream while receiving a call from his mom. After calming her down, Jake enters the house and sees a high-tech portal requiring a destination. Jake enters the number that he saw in his dream and is about to go through the gate. However, a house demon in the form of countless pieces of wood appears and prevents him from entering the door. Jake manages to stop the demon and successfully walks through it. From there, he enters the mid-world, the world which he saw in his dreams. Returning to Walter's base, he learns that someone has trespassed and entered the mid-world through a portal. Jake wanders for a while and meets a man. It is Roland, the gunslinger he saw in his dream. After learning that Jake has a strange ability, Roland decides to take him to the village, just beyond the forest, to meet a seer who can see his powers. Back to Walter, he goes to an abandoned house to investigate the unauthorized passing. He finally finds a piece of wood that has Jake's blood on it and quickly goes to a place called Dixie Pig. This place is full of monsters in humans disguise. He questions the owner of the place and orders him to pursue the person who entered Midworld through the gate. Walter also learns that Jake has a pure shine and is able to get through the house demon. Meanwhile, Jake follows Roland into the forest towards the village. As they stop, Jake learns that the man that was killed in his dream is Roland's father. Elsewhere, 
Walter interrogates the skinned people that went to Jake's house and finds his address. Back at Midworld, Roland lifts the veil of secrecy about the tower in Jake's dream. The tower stands in the center of all things and has stood there since the beginning of time. It sends out powerful energy that shields the universe from anything outside. Walter abducts special children from Jake to tear down the tower, letting the darkness come in so he can rule. Roland and the Gunslinger are to protect the tower. As Jake is sleeping, a voice leads him to an empty field where he sees a vision of his deceased father. When he reaches out and touches the illusion, it immediately turns into monstrous beings. Roland appears in time to bring him back to reality. When the two return, they encounter two more monsters. While fighting with them, Roland is attacked and severely wounded. Back at Jake's house, his parents return home and find Walter in the kitchen. Jake's mom quickly realizes that Walter is the man in her son's drawings. As she mentions the drawings, Walter kills her husband, Lon, immediately. He then takes Lori upstairs to get more information about Jake. Meanwhile, Roland and Jake are on their way to the village. They find a seer to find out where Walter is hiding. Walter returns to the base and orders his henchmen to find Jake. Having him will give Walter a tremendous amount of energy to destroy the tower. At the village, the seer reveals that Jake has a pure shine that allows him to see other worlds. Here, the seer also opens up his mind and shows him how to share his visions. Through Jake's vision, they find out Walter's location so they decide to go to the Earth and capture Walter using the portal in New York. At dinner, Roland convinces the villagers to let them use their portal to go to Earth. This is the only way to keep the tower safe. Outside of the village, the Tahins, Walter's minions, start to invade and kill the villagers. Roland is badly injured, but still manages to shoot down the monsters. Meanwhile, Walter can see what is happening in the village and orders the Tahins to capture Jake. However, Roland saves him. Before the duo leave for Earth, the seer warns Jake not to use his ability, as it will reveal his whereabouts. Finally, they reach Earth and appear in a kitchen. At the same time, Walter loses track of Jake and Roland, who are on their way to a hospital. After healing Roland's injury, they continue searching for the portal. Back in the village, Walter comes and asks the seer about Jake's whereabouts. Then, he kills her mercilessly. After wandering around New York, Jake and Roland find the homeless man that warned him about the skinned people before. Jake uses his shine on the homeless man and finally has some clues about the portal. After that, they decide to go to Jake's house to seek out more information. Despite having a lot of trackers in the city, Walter still cannot find him. However, he's left Jake a surprise, which reveals his whereabouts. Meanwhile, Jake arrives at the house along with Roland and finds his mother dead. He uses his shine to see how she was killed. However, Jake has to let go of the pain or he'll get caught. This is the surprise that Walter was talking about. Roland takes Jake to another place. As Jake is distressed about Lori's death, Roland vows to avenge her death. After that, he teaches Jake how to use a gun. Together, they go to a gun shop to buy more bullets. But not long after, they are soon trapped by Walter. While Jake goes out, the door is suddenly locked, leaving him stuck outside. Roland is inside and attacked by Walter. Meanwhile, Jake is quickly surrounded and abducted by the skinned people. He quickly uses his shine to alert Roland. He is then taken to the Dixie Pig while Roland battles his way to the pub. Finally, Jake is handed to Walter and goes through the portal. He uses his shine to tell Roland the code of Walter's base. In the pub, Roland faces a hell of bullets. Jake is taken to the base and placed in a chair so that they can use his shine to bombard the tower. At the pub, Roland fires at the skinned men using his markmanship skills. The skinned men try to close the door to stop Roland, but it is Jake who uses his powers to keep the gate open. Seeing that, Walter starts to provoke Jake to unleash his energy, destroying the tower and causing a major quake. Roland finally makes his way to Walter's base. Hence, Walter has no choice but to go outside the portal to face Roland. As a sorcerer, he uses all means to defeat Roland and crush him under the concrete. In the final moments, Jake uses his shine to wake Roland. Eventually, Roland shoots back at Walter, killing him. Roland saves Jake, then destroys Walter's base. The movie ends as the duo go to Earth. As Roland prepares to go back to his world, he asks Jake to be his companion. Jake accepts and both start heading to Midworld together. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.